this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a real pretty purple flower. I'm going to paint on this green glass Jameson bottle. I've of course taken off the labels, washed it off, went over it with rubbing alcohol, and it's ready to go. Alright, the two brushes I'm using today are a number 14 and a 12 a magic flat brush. All of my items will be listed down below in affiliate links. You're welcome to purchase through those. And then I have a number four uh, deer foot stippler and a dotting stylus. And you can use anything to create dots with, that's up to you. All right, as far as the paints that I'm using today, I do use all foot guard enamels. Mixture of multi-surface and uh, the enamels. I am using red violet. Thicket, Italian Sage, Wicker White, and School Bus Yellow. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now you're gonna see some other colors on my palette because I've been doing some other painting, but I am just using the the two or the paints that I've mentioned. All right, so I'm gonna do one side into the red violet, one side into my wicker white and do some blending strokes. All right, so this is basically how I do it. Not real particular about it, just load your brush. By creating some little buds up here. Now I can go this way and have it white going across it, but I'm gonna turn it just to give it a little bit of interest and go up in there like that. As you're painting, if you feel like you need to make it more opaque, just go back over it. And again, these are just little buds. They don't need to be the same size, but they can be. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna do couple wiggle leaves or petals I'm sorry like this and I'm gonna come back over these in a minute uh, you'll see why here in a minute whoops I'm gonna hit that I'm gonna move this plate again I'm not real particular about my uh, blending or adding paint to my brush. Just you can do a flip, few bl blending strokes and just call it a day. If you're someone that's real particular, have the paint three quarters of the way up your brush. That's the proper way. But again, I'm not real particular about it. I just feel like you'll figure it out as you're painting. All right, I'm leaving a little bit of a space because I'm actually gonna come back through, put in the bottom part of the, the flower, so I don't want them right up next to each other. What I'm gonna do right now is take a moment, stick my uh, Deerfoot stippler, the little brush here. Sorry, I just gotta make a better arrangement here as far as how I have my camera situated. But anyhow, I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to do this while before I put the bottom petals of the flower in. You can actually wait and do it if you're good about step, you know, pouncing them in with the bottom petals on. And I can do it either way, but I'm for the purpose of the video going to do it this way first. Okay, now if you want to add another color into it, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm just going to leave it with the yellow, but I'll be right back. I'm going to hit it with the heat. Okay, so I hit it with the heat gun. The next thing I am going to do, and I'm still using the number 14. I don't know if I said that to you or not, but I'm going to come back in here. First of all, I'm going to come back over my buds. Not that I need to or have to, but I'm just going to make them a little bit more opaque. 
And I'm just carefully just kind of touching it so that I don't pull the paint up from underneath. Now with these uh, flowers that I have, I could do the bottom part with the um, red violet, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it in with the white part leading up. So I'm going to go like this, come down here, and then I'm just going to push it through here a little bit and then come back over that way. And this is where I say, you know, you could pounce the, the center in if you wanted to but I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, the way I've showed you on this one, just depends on how comfortable you are with it. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. And you can just do some slight wiggling and then come back up like that. All right, very easy, very simple. I just did some light touching so I don't pull the paint off when you wiggle a lot of times with the glass you know when you're painting on glass it will cause the paint to come up off the glass so I didn't want to do that I'm just adding a little bit more paint I'm gonna do a lot of bottle painting today all right so the next thing I'm going to do is come up here load my number 12 with the thicket and the Italian sage. Just do a couple blending strokes and go on. All right, so I actually on this one, I'm going to move my plate again. I'm sorry. Move my plate, come in with my sage, and I'm actually going to do a leaf where I pull like this and pull over here. Pull over here, and I want this to come back over here a little bit more. I can do a little stem. I initially didn't really do a stem on my paper that I drew or painted on. Drew on, yeah, right. Okay, here we go. And then come down like that. If you want it to be, you know, fuller as far as the paint goes, and just do a little, just a little touch there. You can actually turn your brush around and add more of the sage onto that. And do the same with this. That'll just make it a little bit more opaque. All right. So then I'm going to, I think I'm going to lead with the sage. Now on my sample, I didn't do it this way. But with it being on the glass like it is, because the glass is green, I'm going to lead with the lighter color so that you can see it. And I'm going to come up over this. Now I am risking pulling up some of the purple. As you know, because it's still wet, I did not hit it with a heat gun. I'm going to kind of turn my leaf a little bit and I'm going to just swirl it back like that. And then I can come over this way and just do it again. I'm going to do it, go over it again. Again, if you don't want the purple in there, which I don't care if the purple's in there, that's, that's not a problem to me. But if you don't like the purple, then what I would recommend is, is giving it some dry time and hitting it with the heat gun, hair dryer, whatever it is you need to do in order to dry it. Okay, so we're gonna come down here and I'm gonna do it again with my leaf and bring it back. Now I could go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just do a pretend stem. Or I don't wanna say pretend stem, but just a little stem coming out like this. If you want to just have your leaves going around your design, that is great. You don't have to put a stem in. Yeah, let's see, it broke a little bit there because of the, because there's actually some writing on this bottle that's raised. Yeah. 
If you want to put a stem in, you can. I think I will, since it's kind of light. Put in like that. Yeah, this bottle is not quite as dark as like what some of my wine bottles are. So this green probably doesn't show up quite as well. All right. If you have any questions or comments while I'm painting, please leave those down below. I am getting too much paint on my brush. If you feel like you're getting too much paint as you're painting, if you're getting too much paint on your brush, uh, you know, that's building up, that kind of thing, just go ahead and wipe it off on a paper towel. That's all you need to do. And I can put a little stem through here, just slightly touching. And I am going to bring another leaf out this way, kind of bring it down, and then swing it back up. And then I will put a little stem through it like that. It's a very delicate design. Very delicate. And you can always, you know, add, just swing it back up in here. Like, just like that. You don't always have to put a, a vein or a stem through it if you don't want to. And I just got to keep making sure I do not turn it and roll it onto my paper. Although sometimes it makes a pretty design. I don't really want to do that. All right, now I'm going to add just a little bit more to this. Just a little pull out from here. Pull it down and do another one over this direction. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just doing basically a little bit of the, I'll show you here. And I will do around the whole bottle because I am going to sell this one, but I'm not going to do that for the video purpose. The video would be way too long. But anyhow, I'm just taking some of this, the uh, Italian sage, some of my wicker white, and just kind of blending it together. And I'm going to come through here, kind of pretend that my stem is going this way, going that way. Might even do a little bit back into there and down here. See that? And I can actually pretend that it's coming clear in here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to have it just like I have it. Do a little pull like this and then come out through that. So it's not a different color, it's just the same. And I did that over here. So on this one, I am going to kind of pull it on top of the leaf that I painted underneath. Go like that. And then do a little bit of that here. And I'm kind of making the leaves go in different directions. And that's just for purpose of the video. And then go like that. And then I can come out and do even more if I want. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just take my dotting stylist, hit it into the yellow, and I'm just gonna come in here and put some simple, easy, easy, easy. Just little dots, and the only reason I'm doing this is just to kind of match it up to the other ones. Uh, when you're looking at this, if you think, okay, I maybe need some more yellow, I can come in here and dot that in. Or if I want to do just a little bit of white on these, which you know, if you watch my other videos, I tend to like to do this, and then I'm done. All right, it's good to go. Very easy, and keep in mind, with my channel, that is my intent, is just to create easy designs, give you some ideas of things you can do. If you don't like something that I'm doing, change it. More power to you. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. 
new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell before you leave. Please take a moment to share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one.